Hello! As you are probably aware, the Olympics are taking place at this very moment, which means all the places I go to in London are closed for a couple of weeks. But on the plus side, the opening ceremony was fantastic. Seriously, they had like a 40 foot high Voldemort hassling a load of sick kids, and then an army of Mary Poppins flew in and took him out. I am not making this up. Seriously, watch it on whatever digital contrivance you can find it. Anyway, more to the point. Um, there's no Olympic tat. People keep asking me for it, but there isn't any, for the simple reason that the Olympics and its registered trademarks are so closely guarded that nobody dares produce anything. Uh, but on the plus side, LEGO have an official licence to produce Team GB minifigures based on people who might be doing sports at the Olympics. Yes. I don't think these are going to get burnt. Not only would it be massively unpatriotic, but you can't burn Lego. It's the law. Anyway, what's inside? Answer, probably a Lego figure. Oh, which one is it? Oh, hang on. There's a tennis racket, or it could be a squash racket, who knows? The little stand they come with says Team GB and has a picture of the lion head thing. Why is a lion the symbol of um, England and Scotland and that? That doesn't make any sense to me because we've never had any lions living here. But anyway, let's build this little bloke, shall we? Oh, hang on. He's got a gold medal. Look, he's a lucky man. Do they all come with gold medals? Yes, they do. That seems a little presumptuous and frankly unlikely. Not everybody's going to win a gold, are they? Wouldn't it be great, though, if Lego could predict the future? Answer, they can't. They make toys. Here we go. It's Generic Tennis Man! Hooray! Or is that a squash racket? Is squash even in the Olympics? I genuinely don't know. Here he is, anyway. He looks very pleased with himself. Looks a little bit aggressive actually. Not particularly fond of him, but hey, he's Lego. Let's put him over there. Unfortunately, I don't happen to have a complete set of these things, strangely enough, because um, there's like nine of them. And disappointingly, actually, why are there nine and not eight? This is annoying, because Lego do really nice collector's um, boxes for displaying their minifigures that you can collect. And they only do them in 4, 8 and 16, not 9, so you'd have like one left over. Anyway, you know I said I didn't have the complete set, I was completely lying. Here they are. Right, who have we got then? We've got... Equestrian Lady! Yes, she's not in focus. Can we focus please? Thank you. Um, yeah, her mum was very rich and bought her a horse when she was little, and now she gets to ride about and do something called dressage, which I do not understand in the slightest. Next up, it's Mr Relay! with his inanimate carbon rod, which will doubtless win a gold medal of his own. Shouldn't they have the whole team here? Oh well, we've only got one. Get rid of you. Next, oh dear, it's like a cross between Boris Johnson and Arnold Schwarzenegger, the weightlifter. He's banged himself in the eye with it. Good for him. Everybody has to have a hobby. Um, hmm, he seems to have vexed the autofocus. That's a bit of a worry. Never mind, I'm sure it'll be more interested in focusing on... <coughs> I'm sure, it, there we are, it'll be more interesting in focusing on the swimmer. There he is with his nice hat and his speedos and his goggles and I'm holding a little naked man. Let's get on with the boxer. Could be taekwondo, I suppose. Oh no, he wouldn't have shoes with taekwondo, would he? And do taekwondo, do they have boxing gloves? I don't know, he's clearly a boxer, forget about it. Is that a gum shield he's got? He's looking quite cocky as well, isn't he? Actually, there is a kind of cocky, aggressive streak going through all of these so far. Not sure I approve. What are you saying about our athletes, Lego? Damn your eyes. Oh look, it's Hawkeye! Or indeed, an archer with a sort of Superman curl thing going on. Squinting, and they, oh, they've even given him the one glove. Uh, attention to detail. And marvellous. Who's next? Um, oh, tennis bloke. I've seen him. Ah, this one's interesting. She's got a prop. Let's see if we can construct it as she stands on it. It's a gymnast of some type. Parallel bars or similar? Not entirely sure. In fact, maybe she's just a lady who sells snacks who's really got into the uniform thing. I don't know. Big colourful line on her there. Yes, keep the focus, that's important. Really wish I'd gone to manual for this now. But there we are. Who's the last one? It is... Judo! Because there isn't karate in the Olympics. I have no understanding of why. Um, it's a judo lady, I suppose. And she's looking really, again, quite sort of cocky and aggressive. What is all that about? Anyway, marvellous. That's the full set of the Lego things. And being Lego minifigures, they have to go with the big collection, as opposed to the shelf of interesting items.